I chose Adult Beginning Bird Watchers in Toledo, Ohio for my information needs group. You might ask, why bird watching? Well, everyone watches birds, whether they know it or not. Just think of the birds you do recognize. Robins, blue jays, doves, pigeons, geese, cardinals. You might ask, why Toledo, Ohio? Toledo is a unique location, and its location informs its residents' interest in bird watching. Opportunities abound, especially in the spring and fall, and matching program with opportunity increases the chance of success. Why do people watch birds? There are those whose interest in birds is part of their interest in nature. Other find, others find birding relaxing or enjoy the exercise it affords. Many birders today bird for sport, collecting sighting lists and participating in birding counts. 88% or 42 million Americans qualified as backyard birders in 2006, according to the U.S. Field and Wildlife Service report. There were more birders in 2001, but while the numbers decreased, bird watchers' enthusiasm still positively affects local and national economies. American bird watchers are on average over 50 years old, have above average incomes and education levels, are not racially or ethnically diverse, and 54% are female. 27% of people living in rural areas or small cities watch birds, and even though metropolitan areas have greater numbers of birders, the participation level is only 17%. Now let's talk about Toledo. Toledo's demographics informs this user group's interest in birding and affects the resources they have to invest. <coughs> this is a prime location for bird watching. Toledo is in Northwest Ohio on the tip of Lake Erie. The southern edge of Lake Erie acts as a barrier to soundbird, songbird migration, and they back up and rest before attempting the arduous trip across the lakes. This area is home to major bird migration paths. Maggie Marsh is a celebrated birding location in Greater Toledo, and it is at the intersection of two major mi migratory routes, the Mississippi and the Atlantic flyways. Birders watch and count huge numbers of birds here in the spring and the fall. Toledo is the largest city in Lucas County, with a population of 287,000 208 people. It covers 80.69 square acres. 12.1% of Toledo ones are 65 years and older. Toledo's median household income was 35,753 in the period spanning from 2005 to 2009. 83% of residents 25 and older are high school graduates and 17.4% of bachelor degrees. To compare this user group with American bird watchers, Toledo has a small population over 65. It has a lower percentage of college graduates. Its median income is only 35,753 and it is primarily urban. If birders are on average over 50 years of age, we could expect this group to equally access both print and online programs, given the U.S. Department of Commerce findings that 55% of householders aged 65 and up live in a house with a computer, and 45 of them have broad broadband. So the Toledo user group would be small, have modest financial resources, are middle-aged, there will be slightly more females, they will access information in the library and online, and because of our economic circumstances, they will most likely be backyard birders or travel short distances to Erie. So, I propose to you a flat bird program to meet your needs. Flat birds are life-size color photographs or drawings of birds used inside to improve observation skills. 
They were first developed by John Connors during a birding course held in the community center. As a beginning bird watcher, you may feel overwhelmed by the number of birds, especially in the May spring migration. Flat birds, however, don't move, so you can take your time to observe them, train your binoculars on them, and observe their field marks. Field marks help you identify birds. They are stripes, spots, colors, patterns, and highlights located on the birds. Matt Anderson, the local businessman and author of Birds of Toledo, will lend his photographs for us to reproduce, and our program will be open with his author, and our program will open with his author author's talk. Volunteers will assist in the fabrication, and we'll start by first placing common birds, then migrating birds in all the areas of the library. Feel free to bring your binoculars to practice. By the time May rolls around, the library will be totally decorated. We will display our birding collection throughout the library. This is a list of the local organizations that will partner with us. As you can see, Toledo is very concerned about its environment and proud of its efforts to preserve important wildlife areas. There will also be a flat bird page on the website with activities and hyperlinks to our collection and database resources and local organizations website. Follow our progress on Facebook and Twitter and give us your ideas. Spring is just around the corner, so don't get left behind. <laughs>